In this video, we're going to take a look at how to take this model here and add a base to it, like this one over here. And you can do this entirely in Bamboo Studio. So basically what I've done is I've found this model on Thangs and I downloaded it, brought it into Bamboo Studio. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a primitive. I'm going to use a cylinder because that's the shape of the base. And then I'm going to scale it. And uniform scaling is going to be checked off by default. You want to uncheck uniform scale. I want this to be a 40 by 40 by three. So 40 circle and three tall. And I also want to scale this guy. This one I want to do uniform to match the size. So go about there. Fuck, I'm gonna go a bit bigger. We scale that till it looks like it fits. And you could do this after combining them. But what we're gonna do is I do a shift and drag to select both, right click and you assemble them. So now they are one part. Now you go into your object view and you select the Deadpool Wolverine, which is this guy here. And you'll move him three millimeters up to match the base height. And now you have a model on a base. And you can still move the figure around. You just go in and select it in the objects view and you move it around like you would any other model. And there you go, you've done it entirely in Bamboo Studio. Another option is to come into Fusion and model these up individually as the bases. These ones I've added a little bit of a taper, if that's the look you're going for. And I've also made this configurable. So if I change the parameters, I have a diameter. I have a height and I have a draft angle. Um, so you could put zero and it'll just be a cylinder like before, or you can do a negative value in 25 to give it a little bit of a, an angle on the edges. I've created all the default sizes and I'll post those in the description here and you can use them however you like. I'll also post the original fusion file I have here and you could edit these parameters if you'd like to and create your own bases. Same thing with the pre-made bases. You'll just assemble the parts together. So these are all the ones I've made in fusion. I'll assemble these together and then I will move the figure over here and move it up by three. And there you go. The bases that I've created up to the 50 millimeter base is gonna be three millimeters tall and everything larger than that is four millimeters tall. And this is the final product. It was wishful thinking to think that the claws and the sword would make it out of the supports. They did print correctly, but while I was taking the supports off, they got pulled off. So this wasn't the greatest model to scale down due to those little tiny long parts, but I hope you liked that one and I'll see you in the next one.